Hey, how's it going guys? So I bought the Sony Xperia XA1 Plus and this was one of the most requested reviews on my channel. So this phone will be replacing my Motorola X-Play. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing. This thing is still brand new. Still wrapped in the uh, plastic bag. Anyways, let's go ahead and tear off the plastic first. So a quick look at the specifications, we've got a 23 megapixel primary camera and this is the exact same camera we used to get on the Sony Xperia Z5 series. 8 megapixel front facing camera and of course this front facing camera has autofocus, 5.5 inch full high definition display USB type C and a huge 3430 milliamp hour battery and this battery is bigger than the one which comes with the Xperia uh, XZ Premium. Powering the phone is the MediaTek Helio P20 chipset and this is paired with 4GB of RAM for optimal multitasking and 32GB of internal storage. So here is the box and of course it supports VOLTE and LTE bands, Xperia XA1 Plus. This is the dual SIM model. Alright so let's break the seals and start the unboxing video. So. So in this video I will be unboxing this phone like I just said and we'll do a quick review. Take a look at the phone, how it feels like, how it looks and my detailed review is coming soon guys. You have to stay tuned for that. I actually have to use the phone in order to do a detailed review. So stay tuned for that but here is the phone. Man it looks gorgeous. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. It does look like metal but this is plastic. Yep, it is plastic but it has a metallic finish and this blue color looks absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to set this thing aside and apparently looks like it has a screen protector already pre-installed. Yep, there you go. You already have a screen protector installed. I might take that off. I might not. Let's see. So let's see what we get inside the box, whether we get a quick charger or not. So here is the USB Type-C cable. Type-C cable and this is the exact same cable which comes with the XZ Premium. So we have the uh, documentation, startup guide and other stuff. And what do we have here? And yes, this is a quick charger. And yes, this is indeed a quick charger. It supports MediaTek Pump Express 2 and Qualcomm Quick Charge 3 but this phone supports MediaTek Pump Express so this charger is going to work just fine and we get a pair of headphones and what do you know these are one of those cheap headphones I do not recommend that you use this buy something uh, buy something like this this is the Sony MDR XP450 and these will sound a lot better than these alright here I have the Sony Xperia XA1 Plus in my hand and yes it does feel premium when you hold the phone and I think the contributing factor is this back which feels like metal and yes it does feel cold to the touch and the phone has quite a bit of heft to it it's quite heavy it's almost as heavy as my Sony Xperia XZ Premium and I think the biggest uh, contributing factor in this weight is that huge 3430 milliamp hour battery and yes the phone also comes with a fingerprint sensor which is exactly the same as on the XZ Premium same location it's on the side very easy to operate and it so let's go over the physical looks of this phone this is a very typical Sony looking phone and yes this has less bezels than the Xperia XZ Premium and you can probably tell by looking at these edges and the top and the I think bottom this one has a screen to body ratio of 71% if I'm not wrong and that one is 68% so slightly less bezels on the XA1 Plus anyway oh and by the way on this phone you can use two sim cards at the same time as well as a memory card so this is not one of those uh, hybrid sim card trays you can use dual sim and a memory card at the same time so let's go over the physical features and the design of this phone alright so the front of the phone is dominated by the 5.5 inch IPS LCD panel and no this is not a triluminous panel nor does it support HDR but in reality the contrast of the screen is better than the contrast of the uh, Xperia XZ Premium and if I load up the uh, same picture on both of these phones you'll see that the screen of the XA Ultra is no less than the uh, screen of the XZ Premium Although I think the colors are a little more punchier on the XZ Premium, both of these screens are set to super vivid mode. 
Okay, so moving on, we have the proximity sensor and the light sensor over here. And this is our 8 megapixel autofocus front facing camera. And the notification LED is right over here. This is your top earpiece, this is your bottom microphone. And no, this phone does not come with dual front facing stereo speakers, but this one single bottom speaker is actually louder than the dual front facing speakers of the Xperia XZ Premium. And you won't be able to tell on the camera, but yeah, these are really loud and even on full volume, these speakers don't distort. It's very loud and the sound is crisp. Speaking of the speaker, on the bottom we have the loudspeaker. We have the USB Type-C port. On the right hand side we have the dedicated camera shutter button. And here we have the power button which is also a fingerprint sensor and this works quite well. And if I do it with some other finger, you can see there is no hanky panky. I have enrolled the fingerprints. And here we have the volume rocker and it's got a really nice tactile feedback. And you can probably hear. So on the top we have the secondary microphone for noise cancellation 3.5mm headphone jack. On the left hand side we have the SIM card tray and the micro SD card slot. And on the back we have the 23 megapixel Xmore R uh, rear camera with the LED flash. And we have the NFC logo right over here so your NFC receiver is underneath this and this is one telltale sign that this cover is not metal because NFC doesn't work because NFC does not work through metal it requires a plastic surface or a glass surface like this is a glass surface we have NFC over here so this is a plastic bag with a metallic finish which looks absolutely stunning and once again, this is Sony's signature loop design, which we also get to see on the Xperia XZ Premium. Both of these phones are really, really good looking. So let's go ahead and dive into the software. All right, so this is our lock screen. Uh, very typical Android lock screen, but Sony has customized the clock over here. You can see this is the Sony clock too. You can change these. Sony clock, analog clock, digital clock. I like the Sony clock. And you can unlock your phone by swiping up, enter your pin. I am going to use my fingerprint. So there you go. This is our home screen and this phone runs Android Nougat. So let me quickly show you. Let's go to settings. Scroll down about phone. And here you can see Android version 7 which is Android Nougat. Not the latest but the Oreo update for this phone is coming in soon. And the security patch level is 5th August 2017. And this is the Xperia launcher. Pinch out like this and you get different options like you can change this transition. I do prefer windmill. So you have this windmill kind of effect. And on the left hand side you have your Google Now launcher. I might disable Google Now because I don't use it. So if you want to disable that you can go to settings over here can turn on and off auto rotation and turn on and off app recommendation you can change the icon size you can download icon packs and apply them so this is basically android nougat with very minimal customization from sony and this is good because it does not add much bloatware to the software and speaking of bloatware these are the apps that come with the uh, phone oops so we do have a very minimal amount of apps almost negligible bloatware and we do get Sony's custom album app. And this is a picture that I've just taken with the camera of the XA1 Plus. And we have the custom music player app from Sony. And this is far, far, far better than what Google Play Music gives you. And we do have the option to download the music info. That means the album artwork. So while we are in the settings, let me quickly show you around. So someone was asking me whether this phone supports screen mirroring and yes it does. Supports mirror cast and uh, mirror your Xperia on a mirror cast compliant TV or a tablet. And let's go to, you can download themes from Play Store. And let's go to display settings. We do get the image enhancement option, I've kept it to super vivid mode. 
kept it to small the display dpi and no double tap to wake interestingly other phones at this price point do come with double tap to wake so let's go to battery and let me show you the stamina mode so this phone comes with stamina mode if you turn it on the phone's performance will reduce you can see these animations kind of get disabled you can see there is no extra animations so what stamina mode does it slows down your phone's processor limits the background data so you can save the battery life and you can disable it and the second option we have here is ultra stamina mode in case you don't have the charger available for a couple of days and what this feature does is it disables all of the applications it disables the internet it disables the 4g internet and 3g internet so only the basic phone functionality with the camera album calendar clock calculator only the basic stuff will be available so that will extend your battery life quite a bit and we do have sony's battery care technology and this phone also comes with qnovo adaptive charging which kind of uh, measures the cells electrochemical properties in real time and and that kind of slows down the battery aging process so even after two years this battery will be as good as new all right so let me quickly talk about the camera there are several ways of launching the camera on this phone so if your phone is asleep double tap the power button and the camera should come right up otherwise you can press and hold the camera shutter button and the camera will start up and as you can see the camera launch speed is pretty darn quick camera starts up almost instantly and this is the interface that you get and it's typical Sony it's common to all Sony phones here you have the settings it's set to 20 megapixels right now and you do have other options like color balance uh, color and brightness you can change the color balance over here you do get object tracking, auto capture, smile shutter so you can touch to adjust focus and brightness and otherwise you can select focus only and all of the other good stuff and then you have the manual mode where you can control the uh, shutter speed you do get a maximum exposure time of one second and you do get manual focus as you can see And if we move up like this, we get into the video mode. We have HDR video. The maximum resolution is full high definition at 30 FPS. Although this camera is capable of 4K recording as we have seen on the Sony Z5. It is the same camera though. Uh, so we do get steady shot. And then we have the... AR effect and the creative effect apps which I have almost never used and yes the front facing camera is also autofocus you can see and let's just check out the pictures that we have just captured so you can see incredible amount of details even though this is a budget phone Hey guys, so this is the video quality of the XA1 Plus. I am recording this video on the phone and you can probably tell how the mic quality is like. You can hear my voice and this video is completely unedited. So let's see how well this phone is able to focus. You can see absolutely clear, sharp image. So this flickering is not visible in real life it's only showing up on camera because of the refresh rate nothing to worry about you can see the focusing is very fast so it's day number two I have been using the phone for about 24 hours and I captured some pictures to show you guys so first off this is my desk this is taken by the Xperia XA1 plus if I zoom in you guys will be probably uh, able to see how good the image quality is there's lots of noise in the picture when the uh, in a, in a low light situation so as you can probably tell there is a lot of noise in the picture as you can see right over here and obviously you can't expect flagship grade photographs from this phone considering the price point 
So let's take a look at this. And this is actually pretty good. This is shot in broad daylight. If I zoom in, you'll be able to see all the intricate details of this leaf. Nice and sharp picture. Actually, it appears as if the picture is slightly over sharpened. But as you can see, the background is blurred. And these all of these pictures are shot in superior auto mode. And there's another one. Again, if I zoom in, you'll be able to see the details. You can see the dew which has been which is settled on the leaf. And this is a low light shot. Again, completely superior auto mode. If I zoom in, you can see the clarity of the image. Again, there is a little bit of noise in the picture, but I think that's all right considering the price point of the phone. And there is another one. Haven't been able to click too many pictures, but should give you an idea on how the camera is like, and you've already seen the videos. And another one. This is a little bit soft in between right here. But when there is sufficient light, this camera is really good. And here you can see the uh, individual strands of the plant. Really nice. All right, so it has been more than 24 hours since I unboxed this phone and started using it. And no, I haven't recharged the battery of the phone in the past 24 hours. So it is still running on that factory charge. So if you look back in this video, you'll see that the battery was somewhere around 93% when I started using the phone. You can probably tell by looking at this graph. So here's my usage and our screen on time is 4 hours, 22 minutes and 54 seconds. And during this time, I have been using the camera, listening to music, setting up all my files, uh, restoring backup from the cloud. So, so I have recorded all of these uh, videos and shot all these photographs in this one single charge so anyway the phone is awesome it does not heat up I have seen many people complain on forums that the MediaTek Helio P20 is a poor chipset but no I haven't noticed any slowdowns I haven't noticed any sort of lags on this phone no it does not heat up when you use the internet I have used 4G internet on this phone absolutely no issues it is smooth and it is good so now we're going to do a multitasking slash load test and I know my videos won't be complete without the multitasking test so let's do that and you can see no apps are running in the background so here we go very quick launch on this phone uh, let's go minimize this You can see the phone is performing like a champ. So let's try the split screen mode. So YouTube is on split screen mode and unfortunately Instagram does not support split screen. So album and Instagram. So album and YouTube working together. I'm sorry guys. It is it has been a tough day for me today. But here you go. The split screen mode works just fine. And you can resize these windows as you like. You can play a video also and I think you can also play a YouTube video I'm not gonna play a YouTube video just to avoid a copyright claim on my channel so let's go ahead and continue our test you can see the launch time of Chrome is ultra fast so let's go to desktop website of GSM Arena. Lightning fast load time. Let's 
let's go back launch PowerPoint you can see this phone has you can see this phone is not having any troubles uh, working with these big PowerPoint presentation files and then you can also browse your internet here no issues the phone is still cool to the touch it's slightly warm but nothing to get alarmed about So let's also launch Word, Excel, and now let's switch through these apps and see how the phone performs. So let's go back to the first app we opened, Album. Let's go to Music. You can see all of these apps are running in background memory so no reload time at all. Cool huh? Oops music does not support split screen. So let's go back to Chrome. You can see the phone is performing just fine, no issues. So I think that brings me to the end of this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. And thank you guys for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these. And I'll see you guys next time.